Hello human beings, today I'm going to be doing a video that is exclusively for this time of the year. It is currently August in Paris, so that means that summertime is almost over. I wanted to make this video because I've discovered so many cool things in Paris over the summertime. If you ever come to Paris during the summertime or you're already living here and you need things to do or recommendations for activities in Paris for the summertime, this is hopefully a video that will be helpful to you. Without further ado, let's just hop right in because I have a lot, a lot of activities to share with you guys, so. Okay, so if you weren't aware, there was two heat waves in the summer of 2019 here in Paris, and it was extremely hot. So during the daytime, what I would do, or what I did a couple of times throughout this summer, was go to a public swimming area. And most of the public swimming areas in Paris are indoors, unfortunately. Um, however, during this summer of 2019, I'm not sure if they do it every summer, but they did do it this summer. They opened the big fountain that is just in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's called the Fontaine de, du Trocadero, uh, the Fountain of Trocadero. And they opened this fountain up to the public during the times of the heat wave throughout the summer. I believe it was once in July and also one time in June. All the tourists and all of the locals coming to this spot just to cool down, have a little time in the sun, escaping away from the heat just for a couple hours, which was very, very nice. Uh, like I said again, I don't know if they do this every summer, maybe just in special occasions, like throughout the heat wave, but if you ever get the chance to do this, I really recommend it because it is a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower whilst you are swimming. This is an obvious one, but chilling in the park is incredibly relaxing during the summertime because you can just lay in the grass for as long as you want. And on top of that, you can even have picnics with your friends. It's personally for me because I, leave, I love being outdoors. Some of the parks that I recommend to have a picnic at, or at least some of my personal favorites, is Les Jardins de Tuileries and Bout de Chumont. Going to the parks and just enjoying a meal with friends or reading a book or writing in your journal or drawing or sketching is the best way to take advantage of the amazing weather that we get here in Paris during the summertime. The next thing on my list is outdoor music festivals. Paris has an incredible program throughout the summertime where they have a lot of free concerts and festivals in the city. I went to one this I went to one this year in just near Hotel de Ville and it was run by Fnac which is an electronic store here in Paris. It was sponsored by this store and it was a big 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 event. A lot of well-known artists were present at the event. It was definitely packed just because of the fact that it was free, but it was to be expected. And if you get there quite early and you get there, if you go with a positive attitude and with friends, it usually ends up being a very, very good time. So I definitely recommend that. There's also a lot of music festivals that are on the outskirts of the city of Paris in the suburbs which I also definitely recommend. Last year, I went to one called La Fête de l'Humanité and it was a very, very good experience. It was one of the first things I actually did once, once I arrived in Paris and I met a lot of cool people there and got to see some bands that actually inspired me to learn French, which was a very unreal experience. The next thing on my list is going by the Seine. This is quite an obvious one, but going by the Seine and just enjoying a bottle of wine or l'apéro, which is just little drinks and snacks with friends and you just take that all by the Seine and watch the sunset and it's a very, very nice experience. I love to do it, especially in the summertime. We do do it in the fall time and in the springtime, but it's just a little bit less inconvenient, little less convenient because of the fact that it does get colder when the sun goes down. But in the summertime, at least this summer that I've been here living in Paris, the weather has been 
good enough to be able to stay outdoors even after the sun goes down, which I've been very, very grateful for. And sometimes when you're sitting by the sun, uh, especially during the summertime, there will be some um, gatherings of people doing swing dancing or salsa dancing and it's such a cute experience to just sit there and watch that. If you're not a dancer yourself, you can just sit back and watch, but everybody is welcome to join and dance and the music is playing and it's just, it, when you're there you feel like you're in some kind of movie because everybody's having an amazing time, smiling and you can really feel like the summer spirit once you're experiencing this kind of ambiance. Yeah. This is another obvious one, but just walking around and enjoying the streets in Paris, especially in August when the locals are gone, you can have a lot of streets in Paris that are very quiet and calm. Most of the touristy spots will be hustling and bustling with tourists in August, but if you kind of get away from all of the hustle and bustle and some of the more quieter unknown streets, you can get very, very quiet areas and it's nice to walk around there in the summertime and you can see some of the street art, especially some of some street art, especially if you're walking around the neighborhoods in the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th arrondissement. I like to walk up to like two hours and I never really get bored just because there's so much to see and I always notice something new. Like even if I take the same walk, there's always something different to see. The next thing on my list is probably one of my favorite. It is the open air cinemas and it is absolutely free where you just show up. You have this huge movie screen and all, everyone's gathered around having picnics and movies usually start around 9.30 p.m. or 10 whenever it gets dark. And I watched this summer, I saw Isle of Dogs, a Western film that I had never seen before. And I forgot the last one. Usually if you look to the website of the park, which I can link down below, you will be able to find a whole schedule of what they're playing in the summertime at the open air cinemas and usually the cinema in Paris can be quite pricey so taking advantage of these films that are playing in the park during the summertime is a really good idea. The last last thing on my list are the parades in Paris in the summertime. My two favorite ones that I've gone to so far whilst living here is the Pride Parade which happens in July. It was amazing, the energy there was so lively and they had these huge buses that had techno music playing and everybody was dancing, dressed up in fun costumes and there was drag queens present, everybody was having a good time and it's a huge, huge walk that goes all throughout the streets of Paris and I had never participated in a pride parade before and that was my very first one so if you're ever in paris when the pride parade is happening i definitely recommend for you to go march with everybody that is supporting the lgbtq plus community because it was an amazing experience oh there's also the techno parade which is usually for people who enjoy listening to techno music i went last year in september but unfortunately i don't think i will be in town this year when it happens so I went last year, it was crazy, you can get wild. People are dancing, they're drinking, they're on the streets, listening to music very loud. All the streets in Paris basically shut down for this parade because it's very central. And the last kind of parade slash, slash celebration that I really enjoy in the summertime in Paris is Bastille Day. And this is the Independence Day for France and they just have a huge firework display right next to the Eiffel Tower. It is very impressive if you enjoy that kind of atmosphere. As an American, I was very used to celebrating 4th of July and it is the same kind of feel, patriotic ambiance and there is a lot of music also playing on this day and yeah. That is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. I hope this gives you some kind of idea 
of what to do in Paris if you're ever coming to visit in the summertime. And these are kind of some insider things that typical local Parisian people would do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!